Next stop on the Indiana CRA Truck Series brings us to Dover Downs International Speedway in Dover, Delaware. We're here today for 60 laps of racing on the track they call the Monster Mile. And these trucks are going to find out the... I would imagine they're probably going to find out real quick how tough this track is. And of course some of these drivers have raced here uh, before as well too, whether offline or online. But it's a track, as I, as I always said, this is a track that chews up cars and spits them out. And chews up trucks and spits them out too. <laughs> so here's the starting line for this race here today. On the pole at 161 miles an hour is Quentin Moore, the number 21 racing with Jesus Eagle Jet Ford. He's alongside number 83, Joshua Osborne, the Mission Linen Services Coffee Critic Chevrolet. Second row has number 99, Levi McIntyre, the Super Chips Ford. He's alongside number 4, Stephen Cologne. The square D Dodge starting P4 here today. Going to row three, it's number 19, Carson Gum, the winner of the season at Charlotte, the Pennzoil Dodge. He's alongside number three, Cole Deaver, the GM Goodrich Chevrolet. <coughs> row four has number five, that's Destin Bowen, who won the season at Las Vegas. He's flanked by number two, Dylan Young, and the team ASE certified CarQuest Dodge. Fifth row has number 98, Jessica Shelton, the Cheerios Betty Crocker Checks Dodge, number 98. She won the season at, excuse me, she won the season at Flemington Speedway. She's alongside number 31, Mitchell Collins in the Posted Notes Dodge. Next row has number 44, that's Seth Cohen, the Federated Auto Parts Ford. He's alongside number 17, that is Colin Cropley in the Western Auto Chevrolet. Going to the next row down is number six. That is Mitchell Hodak in the total in the total Chevrolet. He's alongside number 86. That's Noah Sewell in the RC Cola Dodge. Next row down has number 18. That is Mike, that is Mike Turner in the Fastenal Dodge. He's alongside number 50. That is Jackson Haywood in the Granger Ford. Next row, Benjamin Miles in number 62. The in the Napa Auto Parts Dodge. He's alongside number 20. That is Matt McIntyre, the MBNA Chevrolet. Next row, Cody McGurk in the Mac Tools Ford, number 94. He's alongside number 24. That is Nathan Orman, the Quaker State Chevrolet. Next row is number 29, Allison Rain in the Mopar Dodge. And another Mopar Dodge, the white truck. That's Trent Dunham in number one. Next row down is number 16, Charles Sanford, a winner of the season at Portland. He's alongside number 11. That's, that's Laura Chung in the K&N Filters Toyota. Next row, Mike Becker in number 43, the Dodge Dealers Dodge, and beside him, Wes McCoy in number 60, the Cat Rental Stores Chevrolet. Next row is number 14, out as Man Amanda Evans in the Milwaukee Tools Ford. He's along she's alongside number 28, Keith Bats in the Napa United Ford. Next row is number 88, Zach Winkle at the wheel of the, at the wheel of the Menards uh, Chevrolet. He's alongside number 87, that is Tito McCoy in the Bell Sub Mobility. Chevrolet. Next row is number 48. That is Samuel Ryder in the MBNA Chevrolet. He's alongside number 80. That is Toby McCoy, the LCI Ford. Next row is number 38. Trevor Collins in the Channel Lock, Chev Channel Lock Ford. And number 59, Kingsford Dodge. Winner this season at Rockingham. That is Zachary Fitzwater in, in the wheel of his machine. Next row has two tumors as the only two tumor this season so far. Kyle Matthews in the AC Delco Chevrolet number 52. Winner at Daytona and again in Australia. He's alongside the winner at Nashville this season. That's Dallas McIntosh in the, in the Spears Manufacturing Chevrolet number 75. And starting shotgun is number 7, Carter Joey in the XI Batteries Ford. He's alongside number 8, the Delco Remy Chevrolet. That is Dallas, that is Aaron Macklin. So that's your starting lineup for today's race at Dover Downs International Speedway in Dover, Delaware. As we are set for 60 laps of racing on this one mile high bank race track speeds upwards of, well, the pulsating speed for Quentin Moore, 161 miles an hour around this racetrack here. So these are this, so these are trucks are going to go very, very fast here around this one mile racetrack, obviously. That's it. That being said, here's the command of fire the engines for today's race here at Dover. Command given the fire engines as we're set for racing here today at Dover as the as the pace up truck is about to leave the field off of, on the racetrack for the pace up and back for the start. We'll be back for the start of the race right after this.
next here. So the pace car, pace truck's about to duck off on the pit road. The field will be led in the hands of Quentin Moore and Joshua Osborne as the field's about to get the green flag to to begin racing at the at the Monster Mile in Dover Downs National Speedway. As Quentin will as they look for the green flag and they and they get it. We're racing at Dover. A pair of white Fords jump out to the top spot here. Quentin Moore, the leader, and here comes Levi McIntyre to the low side. Looking for the top spot here as they come off turn number four. Quentin pulls ahead with the help of Joshua Osborne in the number 83 truck. And Quentin Moore leads the first lap of this race here. Ford in first, Chevy second, and then Ford in third. Battle for fourth between the pair of Dodges there. Carson Gum in the yellow. Dodge pulls out ahead with the rainbow color number five of, West, of Destin Bullen. Taking P5 right now with the help of Jessica Schultz in number 98. And three wide back there as Allison Rain, Nathan Ormond, and and um, the 86 truck of Noah Sewell go out of here for position here. And, Nor and Ormond still stuck in the middle here as, as he gets passed by both Allison Rain and the 29 and the 20 truck of Matt McIntyre. And Trent Dunham gets pushed up to the high side. There is Trent in the number one truck. He gets passed by Laura Chung and now is and is still in a very vulnerable position here is on the high side. Amanda Evans and Keith Batson both behind him. And now Trent pulls back to the low side of the racetrack here as they come through turns number one and two. As you are, as you are on board with Trent Dunham in number one. Trent will be in the number one car next season in the Castrol GTX Cup Series. The number one Skull Classic Oldsmobile is what he'll be racing next season. And Trent finding some power now as he gets by Nathan Orman in 24 and 20 of, um, of Matt McIntyre. In fact, Matt McIntyre has our second in truck camera in today's event. There he is. You're, you're riding inside Matt's truck. And we got trouble behind the Matt McIntyre. You saw some scraping going on back there. Keith Batson turned around. Trevor Collins in the 38 in the 8 truck of Aaron McIntyre. I saw Kyle Matthews turned as well too. In the 52 as Quentin Moore wins race back to the start finish line. And we had three wide back there. We're going to keep an eye on what's going to happen there at between Mike Turner, Stephen Cohen, and Charles Samper. And also... Uh, Mike Becker and Dylan Young were also side by side, and so I think they're going to get each other straightened out here. But uh, and on Nathan Orman, when he's, he's here, Matt McIntyre just got past him about a, a lap or so back, and some damage to the 24 Quaker State machine. Carter Joey, the number seven truck, he was involved, and you saw Keith Batson. 28 also involved as well too, the Napa United Ford. But the whole thing seemed to have happened going into turn number one. And Matt McIntyre had just gotten past Nathan Orman. And look to me, Orman got turned by Zach Winkle. Yep, right at the start finish line he did. Winkle gets in the wall. Nathan comes up the track, bam, right into Kyle Matthews in the 52 truck. And takes Carter Joey as well with him there. Tito McCoy nails Matthews in the 52 truck. Meantime, just up ahead, here comes the, where the second deal, half of the crash happens. Batson, Collins, and Macklin all involved too. Toby McCoy in the A truck gets in the Tito's truck as well too. And Batson's truck twerking, trying to get his truck to start up, which it does eventually. And so, on Carter, Joey hit the 38 of Carter of um, Trevor Collins, and then Collins got banged by the 24 of Nathan Ormond. 
I didn't see that crash happen. So it was basically a three-part crash right there. Here comes Collins right in front of the seven of Carter Joey. And here comes Ormond. Just delivers the coup de gras and right into the 38 truck into the driver's side. I said I had to scare the heck out of Trevor Collins as well, too. And Collins thinking, what in the world is going on? And on the end of Aaron Macklin's got a problem. The Delco Remy Chevrolet dips to the bottom of the track here, and I think that's gonna be a, I think it's a mechanical failure, possibly on the Delco Remy Chevrolet. So Macklin, who did not have a good qualifying run at all, starting this race dead last, sadly for him. And it's going to be on the racetrack here, and he is going fairly slow. He's low, he's only like less than 25 miles an hour going into turn number one in first gear. So let's see what the status of, status of him is going to happen here. We'll be back for the restart right after this here. Quentin Moore is your leader. Back at Dover Downs International Speedway here. Quentin Moore is your leader. Destin Bowen in the second position. Third is Levi McIntyre. <clears throat> Fourth is Jessica Shelton and Carson Gums in fifth position. Trevor Collins and Carter Joey are the two trucks not on the lead ladder. So you see the 7 and 38 trucks both down in the bottom of the racetrack here. And the 8 truck of Aaron Macklin, he is back on the track, I believe, too. I'm not sure, but... Um, car trucks out of the race here. Only truck out of the race is Nathan Ormond, obviously, here after, after giving the 38 truck the big hit. Their green flag back out, lap number 12 here at Dover. Seven and 38 trucks both um, holding up Jessica Shelton, I'm sure. If I, and if I know Jess, she's not liking it at all. And, and, and now Carter Joy decides to troll Carson Gum. And Carson saw Joshua Osborne go to inside and land. And Carson said, that's a good idea, Joshua. I'm going to go with you, buddy. <laughs> so Carson and Joshua both break out as does Benjamin Miles and Cole Deaver. Miles in 62, Deaver, and of course, that black number three. And three wide racing there, and oh, Colin Kruppi gets turned to 17 truck. Kruppi in the 17 truck got turned right there, and then somebody else was in the truck. On Keith Batson and Kyle Matthews again involved, and this time some heavy damage to the Kyle Matthews truck. Started off the season, season fast with a date win at Daytona and then a win in, down in Calder Thunderdome in Australia. And now this happening to him at Dover. Take a look at what happened as the cause the cost second caution flag of the day coming to the end of lap number 13. And Cropley got turned by the 98 of Jessica Shelton. Is what happened. And so, and then, and she got into Trent Dunham as well, too. And it's amazing. Trent didn't spin. He saw Laura Chung and Dylan Young trying to play a game of where do I go and I get there, as well, as well as about every truck behind him, I'm sure, as well, is doing so as well, too. And amazingly, this did not, this didn't turn out to be a bigger, a better, a better crash than it was. There, there's the, the 88 truck of, of uh, Zach, uh, Zach Winkle gets into him. Then Cropley goes for a spin. Here comes Batson. Samuel Rutter gets into the 88 of Zach Winkle. And then Kyle Matthews gets right into Batson's truck and about jacked him up. Good driving on part of the, both the 87 and the 80 truck that both get by. And um, and Toby McCoy just about got the, did the foolish thing of stopping the truck, climbing up the banking here. And of course, of course, he, of course yeah, I know the truck would have slid back down, but... <laughs> but um, but um, that was the cause of the second flag, the second yellow flag of the day, and it's knocked out a couple more drivers out of this race here. And I'm sure it's knocked. Let's see, Wes McCoy's out of the race here. Aaron Macklin's now finally out with that header failure. Wes McCoy had a header failure as well too. 
Kyle Matthews out of the race, and as well as, as, as a, an old piston filler on the Benjamin Miles truck. He was running in the top 10 when, when, when this happened as well, too. He, it, he, he, he put her in the garage as we were watching the replay. On a tough break for Benjamin Miles, who had high hopes for this event as well, too, the 62 truck. And so, sadly, he's now out of the race. <clears throat> so, working on lap 17 right now, Quentin Morris, your leader, will be back for the restart right after this. Back at Dover Downs International Speedway in Dover, Delaware, the Monster Mile. Two more trucks added to the inside lane. Zach Winkle in the 88 and the 48 of Samuel Ryder, who's now two laps down. Along with a 7 of Carter Joey and the 38 truck of Trevor Collins. Uh, we'll restart here on lap number, will be a restart on lap number 19. We'll still have 42 laps remaining, so we still got a long way to go at Dover. It's Quentin Moore, the leader. This is the leader. Second position, second position is Destin Bowen. Third is lead by McIntyre. Fourth is Carson Gum and Cole Deaver. Runs in fifth and Joshua Osborne, Jackson Haywood, Mitchell Collins. Um, the 29 of Allison Rain, the 18 of Mike Turner, the top 10 green flag. Back out, back underway here at Dover. Destin Bowen got a better restart that time right there. He actually got the same restart as he did the last time. In the meantime, Levi McIntyre, Carson Gum, and Cole Deaver trying not to get, get trapped behind the lap traffic, and he does, and they and they all escape successfully. In the meantime, Samuel Ryder's trying is holding up Joshua Osborne, and I'm sure Josh was not liking this at all. In the meantime, we had three wide back there too. Let's get back to that action here. There they are. Dylan Young now escapes from that here. And now the 43 of Mike Becker. Boy, look at how crazy that is getting right there. Three wide, about two rows separately. And three wide, we've already seen today, is trouble at Dover, especially coming off to number four. And it's Calamity Corner on this track. And she saw a little bit earlier with Jessica Shelton and Colin Cropley here. One little tap can manifest itself into something big. And, um... <laughs> oh, gosh. Getting pretty sketchy in this area right there. Especially got the 88 truck right there of uh, Zach Winkle. They're all holding, it, holding up production here as they go into turn number... Three right there, and there's see Keith Batson, another damage number 28 truck right there. As he holds up Amanda Evans in the 14. Oh, and on Cody McCurry, and oh, and another and trouble come on turn number in the turn number one. As Matt McIntyre, Trent Dunham, Dallas McIntosh, and Mike Becker all involved. On Cody McGirt in the 94 truck. A little tire mark on his machine. Same with Dallas McIntosh. I say that's, I say that's all they're going to come away with right there. But the Monster Mile claims at least four more trucks in this whole deal. Third caution of the day. Flying on the 23rd lap of this race here at Dover. As Quentin Moore continues to lead the field here. And we'll take a look back at what happened. Well, this is going to be a better view of... This is going to be better to see what happened here on the... The copter cam. And I think this is going to tell the whole story right here. Dunham got off of the 94 truck of Cody McGurk. And let's see. Cropley's going to hit the 75 of Dallas McIntosh. It's going to say McIntosh right in the Dunham. And that set off the catastrophic chain reaction right there as they go into turn number one. McGurk gets in the 20 truck of, of Matt McIntyre, sends him spinning, and then Mike Becker, poor Mike Becker had nowhere to go, but right into the wall when McIntosh got into him. The 80 truck of Toby McCoy also in this deal as well, too. And what driving by the, look at the driving by the 11 of Laura Chung. She is, she, I, you can bet she is on the binders big time. And Laura somehow, somebody missed the crash. And that deserves a... I'll tell you, Laura gets a big at a girl for that one. But unfortunately for Dunham, McIntyre, 
uh, McGurk, McIntosh, and Becker, all of them, um, well, unfortunate circumstances right there for those drivers here, Tr here for Trent Dunham's view. On Trent, I think got turned as well too right there by the 43 of Mike Becker. Didn't see that part right there, but um, Trent running right now 28th in the field. And that's, I'm sure that's knocked out a few more trucks out of this race here. Well, they actually didn't knock a few more trucks out of this race here. So, so Dunham, so this 28th and the last truck on the lead lap here. Quentin Moore continues as your leader, lap number 26 here at Dover. We'll be back for the restart right after this. Back at Dover Downs International Speedway in Dover, Delaware, as it is the restart will happen on lap number 28. It's Quentin Moore, Destin Bowen, Levi McIntyre, Carson Gum, and Cole Deaver, the top five. And it's Joshua Osborne, Mike Becker. I mean, not Mike Becker, Mike Turner in the 18 truck, excuse me. Uh, Jackson Haywood, Noah Sewell, and Seth Cole, the top 10, averaging just a little over 83 miles an hour here at Dover because of those three caution flags. Restart happening on lap number 28 at Dover. Not even halfway home yet. Halfway home is lap number 30. But this is the event here. Destin Bowen trying to get around Samuel Ryder in the 48 truck. He's two laps down. In 32nd position. Carson Gunn going to the low side trying to get around the 48 truck here as he wants to get up there with the front two trucks here. Now Gar Carson and Levi side by side. Meantime, down the inside lane right there, you see Trevor Collins, a lap truck here, holding up the production right there. Him and Carter Joey both. As Mike Turner tries to pull ahead of Joshua Osborne, who gets kicked up the high side by the 50 truck of Jackson Haywood. Now they're three wide. Oh, this is not going to be pretty right there. They're going to be three wide, maybe coming off turn number four. And we've seen that. We've seen how it looked off turn number four several times. They're going three deep. They keep the handle this time by right there. Stephen Columbus by Jessica Shelton. Shelton stuck in the middle. As Mitchell Hodak in the sixth truck there. You see Dylan Young in the two trying to get by Shelton here. He gets by Osborne, but he tries to get by Shelton. Dylan getting by Fitzwater now. Fitzwater falls by the wayside, but I tell you, he just cannot shake off Shelton in that number 98 truck. She gets a, a push from the 60 truck of, um, six truck, I should say, of Mitchell Hodak, who now goes underneath Allison Rain in the 29 truck. And here it comes. Oh, Turner is about cut right in front of the 50 truck and almost paid the consequences. And meantime, new leader, how about Destin Bowen? The Jeff Gordon colors there with the number five on it, at least not instead of the 24. But Destin Bowen pulling ahead to take the lead here at Dover. He won a season at Las Vegas. It was his first ever Truck Series victory. He was looking for his second victory ever in the Truck Series, but Quentin Moore may have something to say about that. And same with Carson Gum and and. Levi McIntyre, Carson, and Carson wants his second victory just in a row. He won at Charlotte, the last race on the tour. So you know Carson and the Pennzoil team wants two in a row. Meantime, Cole Deaver's gotten around the Keith Bass, and we can have, and I say if Keith stays with behind Debert, he might be able to close up on those front four trucks. See so the margin is this time by right there. The margin is well there. Well, Debert's not far behind. He's a second back of the fourth place truck.
on board with Cole Deaver and the GM Goodwin Chevrolet. Side by side over later. Watching all those from Deaver's view as Carson Gum gets ready to take the leader, tries to. Does he lay that lap over Destin Baldwin? No, he does not. About seven hundredths of a second that time by. But Deaver's got the best seat in the house to watch some terrific truck racing here at Dover Downs International Speedway. And here comes Carson, low side. He tries once again to get by Destin Baldwin. He's got Levi McIntyre shoving in this time. Come on, turn number four, and Carson pulls ahead. Bowen tries to come back, but Carson this time takes the lead outright and as he and puts the Pennzoil Dodge out in front of the bright yellow and black machine. So you got Dodge in first, Chevy second, and a pair of Fords third and fourth. And now McIntyre goes inside, tries to get by Bowen in the five truck, and he will do so. Levi inside now tries for the lead or here in the number 99 truck. But, let's see. Levi gets second position, and now, Car and now Quentin Moore tries to get back by Destin Bowen in, this, in, a, in a battle that was a few laps ago, a battle for the lead. <laughs> but now it's a battle for third position, now as they go through turns number one and two, and, Dest and now Quentin Moore takes the third position. And here comes Cole Deaver, the number three truck, trying to battle... The famous DuPont Colors here. Meantime, you got a slew of trucks going on right here in this battle here as Mitchell Hodak takes position. That was seven position, seven position that he just took here. Noah Sewell at eighth. Seth Cole ninth. And Dylan Young up to tenth position as he got as he's gotten past Stephen Cologne is now pulled up to the high side now. <clears throat> Jackson Haywood and Laura Chung both um, get trying to get by as well too. Jessica Shelton right there behind both Cologne and Chung. Jessica right now running in 14th position, trying to get by Cologne for 13th. Woohoo! And Jess just about got into the four truck here to let Steven know that she means business in battling right now. And sneaking up through the pack right there, the number that number 16 truck, Charles Sanford, the winner of the season at Portland on the short track at Portland. The Papa John Chevrolet trying to pick up some positions here in this in the late stages of this event here. Amanda Evans behind him. Charles in 16th position. Amanda running in 18th. Char Joshua Osborne's in the sandwich in between the 17th right now, up in the high side. And Mitchell Collins behind him in 19th position. The post-it notes dodge. And Trent Dunham right now has made, his, has, made it, has made it all up right there after spinning earlier. He's now 20th in the field with Becker and, Fitz, and Fitzwater behind him. And now Laura Chung all over the back of Shelton's truck here. And Laura saying, I did not like what you did, Jess. And, 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 and now tries to get back past the... Shelton's truck here. So Laura shut back to 14th position, or 13th position, I should say. Shelton's now up to 12th. So some good racing going on back here for at, at Dover for in the late laps for as they continue to trade positions back and forth here. Mike Turner right now in sixth position, having a darn good day right now. And meantime, Levi McIntyre, new leader. And we are coming down to the late laps here. We'll be down to 12 to go this time by. It's McIntyre leader, Carson Gum, and Quentin Moore. Battle for second place between the 19 and the, and the 21. Boy, Carson Gum trying to close up on McIntyre. Now that is for the lead. And 
meantime, here comes Cole Deaver making his presence felt in the number three truck. Trying to, trying to put the Dale Earnhardt colors up to the top spot here. And, out, and so, you know, trying to get by Quentin Moore in a number 21 truck, and Quentin just slams the door in Cole's face. And meantime, here comes Gun to the low side. They come up in the lap trucks of Carter Joey and Trevor Collins. And oh! Destin Bowen just about turned the 19 truck of Carson Gum up the track here. He does get him loose up the track here, but does not hit him. And that's really let Deaver close up now. And Deaver's now trying to get past Carson Gum for fourth position now. And so Carson got held up behind the seven truck. Of uh, Carter Joey. In the meantime, Levi McIntyre got, got held up by the 38 truck of Trevor Collins. Now, what are all the lap trucks are not playing any favorites? That's, that's for darn sure. And Destin Bowen's going to take the lead now in the five truck with Quentin Moore and Cole Deaver now second and third. And here comes Quentin to the left side, the pole center for the event. Deaver to the back bumper, that 21 truck of Quentin Moore. Battle for the lead here, and four trucks are going to throw a blanket over now. Carson Gum and Levi McIntyre has now rejoined us, has now rejoined this battle. Side by side for the lead here. Destin Bowen does not want to give it up. But Quentin Moore forces the throw on that number 21. Ford says, that says, says, I got the lead now. <laughs> And not Carson Gum now to the left side. He says he ain't finished. He says I ain't finished yet. <laughs> what a battle this is gonna be! Those final six laps here at Dover, and we are we'll be, as this time over, this time will be a completion of lap number fifty-five. McIntyre tries to follow Deaver now to the low side of the track here, and now Deaver. Now left with no part, no drafting help as whatsoever, but except for that, except he now, except now he falls back in behind that five truck. Deaver gets by for fourth place now. On board with Cole Deaver. 56 laps in the books now, down the four laps to go. Here comes Cole to the low side, gets by Destin Bowen. In the, in the meantime, Carson Gum for the lead on Levi McIntyre, and he's got it. Carson Gunn, who won the last race in the tour at Charlotte, looking for two in a row. He has never won here at Dover in the trucks. Unless he did some of the Oreo truck series there. Seth may correct me on that. Off turn number two here. Quentin Moore, though, not giving up in that 21 truck. Cole Deaver. Third place there. He may be. He, he's rather. He's trying to wait for any moment between those those two trucks here. Fifty nine laps in the books now. Down the two. Fifty eight laps in the books. Down the two to go. And Trent Dunham is stalled on the track. Is that going to bring out a caution? Nope. He's going to tell you. He's going. He's teleported on the pit road. So Dunham will not bring out the yellow flag. And so, but the white flag it does get out is the white flag. That's one lap remaining here at Dover. Carson Gunn trying to hold him off. Here comes Deaver for second place on Quentin Moore. And it's going to be questions question, question is now who's going to be second place here as they come through turns number three and four. The Pennzoil Dodge is going to do it again off turn number four. And checker flag waves for Carson Gum. He wins at Dover. Two in a row for Carson Gummies. He now joins Kyle Matthews as a driver who's won twice this season in the in the in the CRA Truck Series. As Carson wins Charlotte and now pulls one off at the Monster Mile here at Dover Downs International Speedway. The Speedway, I'll tell you, as we mentioned, we quoted earlier this season how how well those Dodgers have been running this season. Well, Carson just all but confirmed that. There's all but confirmed that statement. <clears throat> But a tremendous day for the number 19 truck here. So nine races are in the season as we will head to... Um, 
actually I'm trying to show uh, the think where we'll be heading to next on the tour. Uh, you never know where we'll be heading to uh, for the next for the truck series. Average speed, 110.688 miles per hour. Carson Gum is your winner. Second is Quentin Morris. He just inched out Cole Deaver for that number two spot. Deaver finishes third in truck number three. Fourth will go to, to Destin Bowen. And five will go to Levi McIntyre. Mike Turner will come home sixth position. Seventh will go to Noah Sewell. Eighth, Jackson Haywood. Jessica Shelton rallies to finish ninth. And tenth position will go to Dylan Young. Stephen Colon was a solid day in 11th. Charles Samper moved his way up to 12th position here in the number 16 truck. Laura Chung, 13th. Amanda Evans manages her truck number, finishing 14th. And 15th will go to Mitchell Collins. Then it's Zachary Fitzwater, Seth Cole, Joshua Osborne, the outside pulser, comes home 18th. Mitchell Hodak, 19th. And Mike Becker will come home 20th. 21st position will go to Allison Rain and Dallas McIntosh, Matt McIntyre 23rd, Cody McGirt 24th, Colin Croppy 25th, he's not going to like that run at all, 26th will go to Toby McCoy, and Tito McCoy will come home 27th there, so, the, so two of the McCoys finish on the lead lap, barely in this race. <coughs> Trucks have finished a lap or more down here, Keith Batson matches his truck number finishing 28th, Trevor Collins 29th, and Carter Joey top, rounds out the top 30, and Samuel Ryder 31st. Uh, Zach Winkle, 32nd, and Trent Dunham, for all intents and purposes, was basically out of the race. He ends up finishing 33rd, three laps down here. But I tell you, tougher for Trent, he was running in the top 20, I think, in that race there before his um, truck gave way. Whatever mechanical problem happened on his Dodge here. Trucks out of the race here were Benjamin Miles, Kyle Matthews, Weston McCoy, Aaron Macklin, and Nathan Ormond. So that's your uh, finishing order in today's event here at Dover Downs International Speedway here. Congratulations once again to Carson Gum, the winner here in today's event. And <clears throat> for now, this is James Qualls. This has been a production of the Inner Series celebrating 11 years of off-on-race. Best. We'll see you at the next Inner Series Trucks race on the season.